Alright, I think I'm live. Hi guys, uh, Kevin here, Freelance Computing. Uh, so, I know it's been a while. Um, for those who don't really know, I've actually uh, been busy with a whole bunch of other stuff that's been going on. Uh, mainly doing a big project uh, down in Boston uh, since the beginning of, uh, beginning of December. Uh, so we finally finished. Um, basically, we were doing this huge refresh project um, down at the Box Center. I've been uh, I've been contracted through my friend Tim. Uh, his company is called Uncomplicate IT. Uh, he's an MSP or managed service provider. Um, so with this big refresh project, he uh, he contracted me to uh, to assist in the 150 or so whatever um, workstation refresh and stuff. So. Uh, also, the fact that uh, my wonderful wife, Eva, has gotten me sick uh, since Friday. So um, it's it's been, what, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's been about four days um, getting better. Um, it's this really bad, like, chest cold thing. So I'm going to try my best not to, like, hack my lung out uh, while I'm doing this Facebook Live. So, um, and, oh, sorry. Uh, I totally forgot to mention this. So the reason why I'm doing a Facebook Live is I'm actually doing a, uh, a GameCube uh, repair. So, um, so excuse me. <coughs> oh, well, you're going to get a lot of those. Um, anyways, uh, long story short. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, Ty, just come through. Um, actually, I, uh, I, met, um, I met someone that um, is a family relative, uh, Anthony Supa. Uh, he actually came through to get a tattoo from, uh, from Eva. Um, so, um, I told him next time he sees you to say hi, but yeah, long, um, crazy, uh, crazy way of, uh, of, what's the word I'm looking for the phrase, uh, small world. Uh, apparently he's related to you through Ron and all this other thing, but anyways, that's besides the point. Um, anyways, um, so this person ended up purchasing a GameCube for her 10 year old son. Now, mind you, this, this is fantastic. So he's 10 years old. Um, he has a Nintendo Switch, he has a PlayStation 4, he has all that kind of stuff. But um, he ended up getting this GameCube, um, which I'll pan the camera down, and he also has a Game Boy Advance. And he actually enjoys playing the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube more than he does his Nintendo Switch, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and I couldn't believe it either. So I told, I told him and, uh, and his mother that I would do a Facebook Live um, and mention them on the Facebook Live. So, uh, anyways, so um, I have this uh, GameCube, which they bought from Core Gaming, uh, which is literally like maybe like five, ten minutes down the street for me. Um, they bought it about a year ago, and the laser stopped um, stopped reading. Well, it's it's kind of hit or miss. Um, so I actually tested it, and the first thing I did when I turned it on was that it worked perfectly fine. Excuse me. So what I did was I cleaned the disc, I cleaned the laser, and I gave him a call and I told him, "Hey, um, the GameCube's excuse me, the GameCube's working perfectly fine." And she was like, "Are you sure?" And I was like, "Well, um, I mean, I tested it already and it seems to be working okay. So um, let me, if you guys want to come through, um, you can pick it up." And she was like, "Okay, sure. We'll leave in a couple minutes." Uh, but before I did that, I was like, "You know what?" Uh, and I hung up the phone. And I was like, you know what? Let me try to power cycle this thing because it could be a power issue too. And, of course, I turned it off, turned it back on, and now the disc isn't reading. Um, you've got to be shitting me. So I called her back, and I was like, hey, don't leave. Like, um, l let me order the part, and then replace the laser, and then we'll try it out from there. She's like, okay, cool. <clears throat> so before I ordered the part, um, I, I tried a couple of other things, and I turned it on and turned it off. It was like a 50-50-50. So sometimes when I turn it on and turn it off and turn it back on again, it worked perfectly fine. And I would hit the reset button and everything was working fine. Shut it off, turn it on, it wasn't reading the disc. Turn it on, turn it off, it was reading the disc. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, um, but I guess it could be a power feed issue. So there was a couple of things that I could have tried, but you know what? I was like, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to order the part and replace the entire chassis. Um, 
So, and just to avoid any type of uh, any issues that could occur uh, later on. So I'll, I'll go ahead and explain that in a little bit. So uh, let me go pan the camera uh, a bit here and I'll show you guys what is going on. So um, I kind of saved a little bit of time uh, taking the whole thing apart. Um, there's a guide on iFixit that um, shows you how to take apart the entire piece and everything. So this one is the replacement and this one is the original here. Um, so whenever you put in the disc, it says it can't read it. And that's what I was saying before, like it was a 50-50. So sometimes you can read it, sometimes you can't. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically, I could have just replaced just this laser alone, but then it would require me recalibrating it and that whole thing. So I was like, you know, it's screw it. I'm not even going to bother. This whole assembly was like $5 more. So I was like, I'm just not even going to deal with it. I'll just buy the assembly. But um, what I was wanted to, what I wanted to mention um, in regards to the uh, the laser here. Okay, so I'll see if the camera can focus. So right here, uh, this is what's called a POTS calibrator. So um, the old Xbox 360s, I think. Uh, had this also, and I want to say PlayStation 2 might have had it too, but not, not all of them have it. But anyways, what this allows you to do is um, basically increase and decrease the voltage of, uh, of the laser. So sometimes what happens is um, over time, <coughs> uh, the laser starts to lose its calibration. Uh, so basically what you could do with that POTS calibrator is you can increase the voltage and it'll actually increase the uh, the laser um, basically um, the power to the laser so sometimes what happens is as it's losing power it can't read the disk correctly so you increase the pots voltage uh, and then it might fix it but that's only temporary uh, so that's what I was thinking what was happening with this one because the GameCube this is still the original GameCube so because of it being so old, it could just be losing, uh, just losing power over time. So I could have just increased the pots, uh, the the voltage on it, and then tested it, and it should be fine. But then who knows? Maybe a couple days, couple months, whatever. Um, it'll end up <coughs> uh, losing calibration again. And the thing is, though, you can only increase the voltage on the pots so far. There's a certain threshold. Uh, I think it's. Uh, maximum 450, minimum 150 uh, milliwatts. Uh, so if you're outside of that, you could either damage it really badly or you could actually create so much voltage that uh, the laser will actually like burn through the disc, which is not something you want to happen. So um, I just figured I'd just swap the whole thing out. But anyways, uh, so on iFixit, they do have a guide. Uh, I've already taken apart, as you can see, the outer casing uh, and then also... Um, removed the uh the main optical um chassis here so i'm going to continue um with this and then see originally i just wanted to take the entire just the out, outside apart but then it got kind of overzealous and it got caught up so i kept on going and going and i was like oh crap i'm supposed to do a facebook live on this but anyways uh actually what i'll do is you if you guys want to follow along i will copy and paste the uh the ifixit guide send it over to you guys and you guys could follow along so right now i'm on the step where uh, they would like you to remove the whole chassis now it does go a little bit further and uh, you can actually go all the way down to the part where you just remove the laser itself uh, so you actually go further than this instead of doing the entire chassis you bring it down to just that one laser but like i said uh, when you do that, uh, it gets to a point where you have to recalibrate the voltage and everything like that. And honestly, for $5 more, I'd rather not go through that uh, and just do this instead. So, <clears throat> Anyways, um, so yeah, so it's, um, it's a lovely Tuesday afternoon and um, didn't expect it to snow today. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's snowing, and um, I've been home. Like I said, I've been home sick, 
uh, pretty much just doing other stuff. Um, I have more things I have to do behind me, uh, basically laptop repairs and whatnot. So um, I'll keep myself busy for the most part. Okay. So there is the removal of this, and I think that's pretty much all it is. Um, like I said, I've already double-checked this, and this was actually purchased from another uh, used GameCube. Uh, but the guy did say that it was tested and everything, so um, hopefully he holds true to that, and uh, everything will work fine uh, with it. And, of course, you're protected under eBay, so... If the guy did try to screw me, well, so be it. So here's, oh, wait a minute. This is interesting. All right, so, all right, if you guys notice here, there is, oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so there is this little cable here. Uh, that is for, that's connected to this piece, which I'm not sure what it actually does, but you know what? Not a problem. I'm going to remove it anyways, because it is on the original one and not on the replacement. So good thing I noticed that. So, um, how has everyone been? I hope everyone has been doing well. Um, <coughs> uh, Happy New Year to everybody, both uh, you know American and also Asian. Um, for those who don't know, it is the year of the rat, uh, which is my father's year. So good, good blessings to him. Uh, hey, buddy, I know. Sorry, guys, that's Maverick. He uh, he knows that daddy's sick, and he's pretty much been vegging out with me since, like, since Friday, so. <laughs> All right. Hi, bud. Come here. You want to go? All right, sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm just going to let him out real quick. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to say hi to people. Tyree, what's up? Gail, hi. Adam, what's up? Uriah, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, um, uh, I want to wish you luck on your YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to uh, do a shameless plug in the chat if you're, uh, if you're still up for it, man. Um, so Uriah is actually starting up a YouTube channel. Um, I think it's doing guitar lessons and uh, anything related to uh, guitars and uh, stuff like that. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Uriah, but I hope I hope that's what your channel's about. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, so uh, give him some props, guys, um, when you can. And Uriah, like I said, um, if you're still on the chat, go ahead and uh, copy and paste your, uh, your, uh, your YouTube channel um, and everyone else. Please support him and uh, go ahead and check it out. All right, so it seems like that was the only thing I really needed to port over. And the only thing that kind of concerns me is that the actual metal chassis, I mean, it's not going to do really much of anything, but this is where it's interesting. So notice how this is like a flimsy, like aluminum almost or something, but this one is definitely a thicker one, but it's kind of a little bit bent. So I don't know if I should try to, yeah, I guess I could kind of bring it, but yeah, you know what? No big deal. All right, anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing back together and then put everything to a certain point where I could test out the disc. And then we'll take it from there. I hope everybody could see what I'm doing. 
I'm trying to angle it as best as I can. Actually, let me see if I can. Yeah, okay, a little bit better. And of course, I wanted to start this a lot earlier, but I haven't booted up this computer that I use for my streaming quite a bit. So of course, the first thing it has me do is install updates and more updates and even more updates. And I was like, gee, this is great. So of course, 20 minutes later, I finally have all the updates installed, but then that was only for Windows updates. Then I had to install Java updates. And then I had to install Chrome updates. And I was like, holy Jesus. So probably after like a good half an hour total, I was able to get all the updates installed, which is fine. <sighs> all right. Let's see. All right. that part's done and now I just need to do everything in reverse okay that's there actually you know what I might as well just put the whole thing back together at this point because I mean I'm not planning on it's a it's a new laser hopefully this laser is better than the other one and if it if it's not, well, crap. Nothing I can do about it. All right, so I gotta put all of these back all the way around. So um, you guys could see what you missed when I kind of went overzealous and cheated. So <laughs> uh, basically, what I'm doing now is just I'm following the guide backwards, um, just to put all the screws back together and everything like that. And uh, the GameCube is actually uh, is not too delicate. Um, they do have some ribbon cables and stuff that are actually uh, soldered on, uh, along with some other uh, various like audio cables and stuff like that. Um, so when you're working on it, you don't have to be too cautious because the the, the game console actually comes apart pretty easily. Um, but it's just one of those type of things where, you know, if you're trying to pull something off and it's getting a little bit sticky, don't just, like, keep hoe it and just like, rip it off because you'll probably rip a ribbon cable or something. Um, but generally, when I took this thing apart, it was actually it was actually pretty easy. I think the toughest part was probably removing the top case just because you had to kind of, like, angle it upwards. Um, so, yeah. All right, some more people joined in. Uh, Jess, oh, Jesse, what's up? Uh, Chad, what's going on? Steve, what's going on, guys? You guys are probably on lunch, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Watch me do my repair video. Because what else do I have going on, right? Uh, uh, so uh, for those who just joined, uh, if you guys uh, missed it in the beginning, I'm, I'm repairing or I'm replacing the... Um, whole optical CD assembly, uh, disk drive assembly for a Nintendo GameCube. Uh, long story short, the original one here, it was a 50-50. Um, sometimes it'll read the disk, sometimes it won't. Um, so I think it's either the laser itself or it could be a power issue. Um, I didn't want to go into modifying the, uh, the calibration for it. I just figured I'd just get a replacement and just swap the whole thing out. So, yeah. Okay, so that's for the optical drive, and now I need to put back on these guys here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, sorry guys, I gotta go blow my nose. Give me a second. I'll turn off the mic so you don't hear that. Oh, yeah, that, that felt better. All right, 
Uh, where was I? Okay, so I'm going to put these bad boys back on. And these are just a little clip thingies, I guess, that do something. Retention, ground space. I, I don't know. Just just go to, go to the link. <laughs> just go to the link, and uh, it'll explain, like, what they are and what they do and stuff. So come on. There we go. So easy peasy. There's one. And the nice thing about this too is that all the screws are pretty much um, the same size for the section that you're working on. So it's not like, you know, like PlayStation or Apple where you have to like keep in mind the position of the screws that you take off. Hey, Linda. Um, you don't have to worry about that. This one is pretty much like these four screws are all the same. The 12 screws all around the uh, assembly over here are all the same. And you can tell over here, like these screws are pretty much the same. Like it, it works out freaking awesome. All right. So fan assembly. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'll put this. Uh, come on. Why is it not? Missing something? Oh, damn it. Put this one in the wrong hole. So that's another thing you have to pay attention to, though. Um, it does do layering with the screws. So uh, just make sure when you put the assembly back together, you just know where you're putting where the screws are supposed to go into. Or you're gonna end up putting a screw in somewhere that you're not supposed to and it's going to block the screw hole for the, top, the upper layer. So just keep, oh shit, just keep that in mind. All right, and I'm going to just clean out this fan really quick with some compressed air. It is a little bit dusty, so let's do that real quick. <coughs> and I'll turn down the mic again so you guys don't hear that. All right, that's better. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, next is to put back on this. Oh, and this is a cool part that I didn't notice. See right there, there's a CMOS battery. <laughs> ah, the days of not having a CMOS battery. All right, I'll put it in this right now. Like that. Okay, these two screws, okay. Yeah, so hopefully this will work. And I mean, I don't know if she's willing to come today to pick it up. I mean, like I said, it is snowing, so. And she does work, so, but we'll. We'll see what happens. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire assembly here. Now, I could technically test it just like this. I could just, because this is the part that lets you know that there's the, the cover. And I could just clip the disc in because it has those three little things. Um, this is the power. But, you know what? Yeah. You know, uh, no, I'm just, I'll put the, I'll just put them back together. Screw it. Like so, okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry guys. All right, and then this goes. Put the power button. All right. 
Hold the slide like that. Okay. And then open. How this open button sitting? Uh, whatever. The open button sitting a little bit crooked. I didn't notice that until now, but you know it's not really affecting anything. Power reset open. All right, so let's uh, move this aside, and I do have a television above me that I used for testing so um, you guys are just gonna have to uh <laughs> CMOS sup Ryan um, you guys just kind of have to trust me on this and um, I'll basically I can't really angle the camera like straight up you can't see shit anyways all right so I'm going to power it up and I guess see what happens I'll shut this light off and change the input to, I think it was video two. <coughs> All right, sorry, bear with me, guys. Most importantly, let's see if this thing turns on. Oh, wait, I need a controller. Okay, let's see if it turns on first. That's not powered. Uh -oh. Help if I. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Cool. <laughs> and his favorite game is uh, Louis, 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 Luigi's Haunted Mansion. So, or Luigi's Mansion. All right, moment of truth. Reading. Okay. Awesome. Reads it. Press start. I'm assuming you guys can hear that. I hope. Can you guys hear that? All right. Anyways. All right. So that works. So I'm going to reset, <coughs> which doesn't really reset the console actually. Okay, there we go. I had to take, I had to open it. All right, let's try this again. Disc is spinning. Reads it. Okay, awesome. No. Gonna power it off. Power it back on with the disc in. Hold on, vibe. And it boots up the game. Awesome. All right. Sorry, guys. Let me let the dog in real quick. So yeah, looks like uh, looks like we're good. Sorry about that, guys. 
All right. So, yay. I am excited for that. And I could put the rest of the screws back in. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, thanks, guys, for uh, for joining and, um, you know, being a part of this uh, adventure. Um, so, once again, uh, freelance computing. Um, my store is Computer Repair Today up in Concord, New Hampshire. Uh, 169 Latin Road, um, but I also work out of um, Salem, New Hampshire, too. So, um, as you can see, I don't just fix computers. Um, I also do game consoles and stuff like that, too. So, um, if anyone has, like, an older console, a newer one, um, just let me know what the issue is with it, and um, we try to fix it, if anything else. Um, feel free to like and share if you guys enjoyed what you watched, um, and any comments and stuff like that, you know, I'm more than welcome to... Uh, to read it and, uh, and, and implement it in my next video. So uh, once again, thanks guys for joining and uh, I'll go ahead and I'll post this on my YouTube channel too, I guess. Um, other than that though, until um, next time. Um, see you then. Goodbye.